Hi, this is Dina with Dina Howard Portrait Design. Today I'll be going over a quick hand edit of a newborn. This image will be completely edited by hand using no actions or presets. I will only be working with the tools in Lightroom and Photoshop and the complete edit, including background repair, will take less than five minutes. This is the method I teach in my mentoring sessions, during which we devote an entire hour to learning these techniques in detail. The importance of learning to hand edit is in the knowledge you gain in learning how and why to apply certain actions later on down the road. Once you learn to analyze an image and know instinctively what steps need to be taken to edit the image, your workflow will speed up exponentially. Using these techniques, I can edit an entire session of 25 images in 30 to 45 minutes. Let's begin. Today we're going to start in Lightroom with a raw file straight out of the camera. And you can tell in this file, um, it was shot overexposed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull that exposure down quite a lot. We'll pull down highlights, contrast, up the vibrance, desaturate the oranges just a bit. And the reds. I'm going to enable profile corrections. I'm going to pop just a little bit of light onto her face. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this image into Photoshop. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and fix the background. The technique I use is super easy. These are all techniques that I will teach in my mentoring sessions. Super easy background removal. Make sure none of it is on baby and then we're gonna flatten that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take care of any color corrections that need to be done in her skin. Her face is just a little bit red um, and her feet are purple. So I'm gonna be using the color balance layer to address those issues. I'll use a layers level to bump up the highlights or the mid-tones. I'm gonna go ahead, put a layer mask and invert, and then I'm gonna paint on that with 50% anywhere I think it's too red. before and after. I'm going to flatten that. I'm going to go ahead and create another color balance layer and just address the purple feet. Add a 
white layer mask and invert and paint it back on anywhere there's purple. Adjust the opacity and then I'm going to go in and work on skin cleanup. This baby has pretty good skin so she doesn't need a whole lot. And what I like to do for skin cleanup, if I can get away with it, I just like to use um, the spot healing brush tool. I've got a few little pieces on the blanket that we need to get out. One little speck there. I normally don't do too much to the flakiness on the hands um, unless it's just really bad. And I think that's pretty good. Now we're going to address um, the skin smoothing. And I don't use an actual skin smoother. Um, I do this with color on a new layer. Now this looks a little strong to begin with, but we'll back off of it just in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take that all the way off and I'm just going to adjust it to where it starts looking good and creamy. And I would say about 43% is good. I'm going to go ahead and erase it off of any creases that I want the detail to show in. So I'm going to erase it 100% off her eye line, her lash line. The next thing that I'm going to do is take care of this diaper line. I'm going to do that by using the patch tool. I'm also going to use frequency separation. Um, that's actually an action that I use. And this is something that we go into detail with. This is something I'll show you how to create your own action or I can tell you where to get a free action. And it works absolute wonders for smoothing out the skin.
and I only do this on any skin that's splotchy. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, the next thing that I'm going to do is pull up um, the tones in her face just a little bit. It's still just a little bit too red. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer. Really brighten that up quite a bit. And then I'm going to erase it off of everything but her face. Then pull the opacity down just a little bit. Flatten that. I'm going to go ahead and add some contrast. I'm going to add some color into her lips. And I'm going to sharpen it. And if you zoom in, you can tell where that's been applied. I like to brush it off the skin. flatten that out and that image is done. I'll show you the before and after. This is the before. This is after. That's the finished image. And then if I pull up the original image in Lightroom, And reset that. Then we have the before here and the after here and that's a finished image. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If we can help you with mentoring feel free to contact us at www.denahoward.com. Thanks.